The Pariks are playing a happy tune these days. Two months ago, this family of four and two dogs were cramped in a three-bedroom townhome. Now, they have 4,700 square feet to play in. The Pariks jumped at the chance to purchase the seven-bedroom new construction home and utilize all of the extra space. But we will have two guest bedrooms. We have the playroom, the girls will each have their own bedroom, and then the master bedroom and one is being used as an office. So we'll pretty much have them all covered. And large homes are making a comeback. According to census data, the U.S. home ballooned in size during the last decade, but shrank after the housing bubble burst. Now it's growing again. Large homes like the ones behind me are popping up everywhere, indicating that the era of downsizing may be over. Big is back. Big is back, and the reason Big is back is because of great home affordability. Historically low interest rates promise 30 years of affordable mortgage payments, so buyers can get more for their money. We're um, having the big event tonight. Sally McFoling of Homes by West Bay expects sales to nearly double this year. She says buyers are looking for more space to fit their lifestyles. It can be a craft room. They can be a theater room, they can be an office. People thought during the downturn that everybody would be pulling in and, and making things smaller, but that's just not been the case. And going big these days also means going green. Many of these large new homes are energy efficient, which means bills are kept low for the homeowner. That's the case for the Parikh family, whose electric bill was $100 last month. That was, that was pretty important considering, you know, we're going to have to run our air conditioning quite a bit in the, in the heat of the summer here. For First Business News, I'm Jackie Keaton.